What's up guys, it's your boy Kilo Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing KD10s. So I want to start this segment off with um their comfortability, like on court wise. And uh, I'd say I'd probably give these probably a 7.5 out of 10, comfortability wise. Because when I play basketball in these, I'd say they're way more comfortable than the LeBrons. The LeBrons are way too tall, but that's just my opinion. Now, um, it's like, it kind of gives me some Kyrie and some LeBron vibes with this massive air, not massive, but you know, very elongated air bubble, you know, Nike Zoom. And performance wise, I really like the feel of the KD-10s. Now, the KD-10s that I actually play in are the Wolf Grays, but they're at my cousin's house, you know, that's when I mainly play in, but. Those ones are destroyed. I keep, you know, you see, you know, this one dead stock. These ones, I've only worn them probably once in an indoor court. But, yeah, that's kind of my feel for comfortability, you know, with the midsole and stuff like that. Air bubble really cushioning you when you're stepping. And even just, you know, walking around, you can make really nice fits with the um, KD-10s. And it's from this, I like the All-Star silhouette more than I like... The City Editions, I'm not going to lie. It's just a super nice colorway. You know, purple is my favorite color. Seeing from both my Jordans, but you know. Personal preference. These pop out a little too much for me. These are just like right there, you know. They kind of pop out at the same time. It's like it's mild. So I can't really complain with these shoes. You know, super fire silhouette. Comfortability, you know, was really there. You know, like I said, I'd give it a seven and a half out of ten. First comfortability, you know, nice air unit, Nike Zoom right here, and you know, just the feel of it. It's a little tight, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta break these in. My gray ones, they're a lot more comfortable than you know, just these ones because these ones haven't really been broken in like that, like the gray ones have, but yeah, super nice shoe comfortability you know seven and a half repeat it again a little different logos kind of cool i like this one too this one's super nice but yeah that's just comfortability you know let's get on to design switching camera angles i want to get you know on the design i really want you guys to see the design of the kd10s that you can't really see from the top view they are just like that let me lace them up real quickly They look like laced up. Super nice design. Probably my favorite basketball shoe besides maybe the Kyrie Sevens, which I'm looking to get as my next basketball shoe. But I compare them to the LeBrons. Here's the LeBrons right here. You know, beat up, all on the bottom. That's an outside course due to your shoe, man. They really destroy them. Sucks to see, you know. Big air unit right here. Russell 17. KD10. I'll do a side by side. I'll let you guys just kind of get a feel for them. You know? But I still think the design of the KD10s is way better. The LeBrons, in my opinion, this is more of a shoe you like, streetwear shoe. This isn't very much of a basketball shoe. If I'm being completely honest, from just my experience, I'd say that's more of a, you know, just walking around, making a nice fit shoe. KD10s, you, you can make a nice fit with these too, I'm not going to lie, you know, put some NBA socks on, maybe put a Kevin Durant jersey on, well, they don't like a purple one, I wish they did, that would be like so fire, put um, you know, Brooklyn Nets jersey on, that um, that super cool one that makes it, it, it like, I'll show a picture at the end of the video, but like, it looks super cool. I go look fresh with these and some NBA socks. And here's the back. The heel. Bottom. Like that marble design. You know, it's, it's a little tight right here, you know. Down here, it's way tighter than, but I still think that doesn't take away from the design or the performance of the shoe. You know, 
Super nice shoe on foot. I'll show some videos of me just walking around with him. So you can really get to see that air bubble in action. Maybe throw up a few things. Um, you know, I think it's probably the best basketball shoe I've played in. Just from my experience, like it's just been a super comfortable, super reliable shoe. I've been able to hit a lot of my shots in KDs. Unlike, you know, in the LeBrons. The LeBrons, I feel like that's more of a power forward slash center. That's the type of shoe I think of when I think of the LeBron. Or not the type of player that would wear the LeBrons. That's the type of player who I would think would wear the LeBrons. And these are kind of like a middle ground between the Kyries and the LeBrons. Super comfortable. You know, super nice fit. Besides being a little tight right here for my foot. I mean, other than that, you know, super nice shoe. I'd say not as comfortable as the Air Maxes, but, you know, that's a that's not a basketball shoe. Unlike these, super dedicated to these. These are super nice. And let's get on to the um, boxer's on.